mortgage rates hit their highest levels since April last week. Tune in to Tom's Take to find out what it all means. You're definitely going to want to watch this one. News coming out of last week is that mortgage rates on a 30-year fixed loan, they hit their highest number since April of 2021 at 3.09%. In April 2021, they were at 2.88%, and that's up 7.21% over that period of time. So that's a pretty big increase. The the rate may not sound like that big of a difference. 7.21% is nothing to bat an eye at. It's it's a pretty significant jump. So knowing that's the case, there's going to be questions about what's happening in the market. And a couple key factors to be aware of before I talk about what it means for people thinking about buying a home or thinking about selling a home. If you look at other mortgage products that are out there, the 15-year fixed rate or the five-year adjustable rate mortgage, so a five-year arm, those numbers have stayed pretty stable. So the volatility or the increase is really only happening on the 30-year fixed loan. That's number one. Secondly, Sam Cater, Freddie Mac's chief economist, he came out and said, you know, because the pandemic and because the economy is looking up, this was pretty surprising, but not totally unexpected. It was just a matter of when it was going to happen, not if. And in addition to that, he mentions that because the demand is so ferocious right now, because there's so many people out there looking to buy homes, he doesn't see this really changing. And all the predictions are that we're going to see mortgage rates into the 4% range sometime towards the end of 2022. And that comes not only from Freddie Mac, but also the Mortgage Bankers Association and their predictions as they always predict things. That's what these companies and organizations do, right? So that's the news coming from the experts. Expect 4% by the end of next year. Not a surprise because the pandemic's slowing down. We're towards the end of it here, hopefully, fingers crossed. And the economy's really looking up and demand hasn't softened. So rates have just started to tick up a little bit. And knowing that 30-year mortgages are the most common mortgage that people get, it's no surprise that's where we saw the increase. So the other factor here to be aware of is that purchase applications, they've declined. So through the middle of October, we saw a 5% drop from the previous week, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association. And since the beginning of October, we saw a 12% decrease in purchase mortgage applications. So a lot of data here. Applications are dropping. Rates are ticking up. Predictions are 4%. So basically a full point higher by the end of 2022. What does it all mean? So, So here's what I know. If you are thinking about making a move and you will have a purchase involved, whether you're selling a smaller home to move to a bigger one, or you're selling a bigger home and downsizing, or you've got any sort of sale attached to it, or maybe you just want to cash out, here's a couple things to be aware of. As rates go up, affordability decreases. If you're in those high price points, now may be your best time to cash out high. If you're in the bread and butter price points, and what I mean by bread and butter is where we see most of the transactions take place first-time buyer segment, trade-up segment. In Pennsylvania, we know that roughly about 7% of the sales in Philadelphia, Chester, Montgomery, Delaware counties are below that 650 threshold, that if you're below that, you're probably going to still see a lot of demand because of the supply of homes that are available right now. If you're in that higher price point, the addressable market is smaller. So if rates go up and even the 2.88 to a 3.09, that 7% increase, that can have a dramatic effect on your payment for the buyer coming in. So if you're a seller in that luxury segment, I'd be looking at getting your home on the market sooner than anticipated so that you can cash out and maybe get a buyer who's willing to stretch because let's face it, luxury and premium price point homes, people don't usually move out of. There's a reason it's such a small part of the market because not a lot of people can afford them. And once you move there, you're pretty much staying put. So that's what you want to do if you're selling a home in the luxury segment. If you're buying into the luxury segment, same thing. I'd be looking at making a move now if you can find the right property versus waiting for rates to go up because your affordability is going to decrease and a lot of people buy the home with the monthly payment. So if there's a a bigger purchase involved, you may want to be looking at what's going on now. And in general, that we've seen inventory creep up 20-some percent since April and May of this year through the end of September, If I'm thinking about selling in general, I'm getting my home on the market now. All the demand is still very frothy and there's a lot of buyers looking because as more inventory creeps up, buyers are going to have more opportunities. That's just how it is. So if you're selling, I'd be game planning now because a lot of people, and this happens every year, 
Come January, February, let's get our home on the market. We're ready to go. You want to be on the home when your neighbors aren't. Now, for buyers, what does this all mean? Well, when rates go up, your payment goes up. So if you can buy in and get a lower payment, now would be the time to do it, given these predictions. And also, there's a little less competition now. Purchase applications for mortgages are declining. They're down slightly, not a lot, slightly. And this is the time when you want to jump in before everyone starts getting the message. And knowing that inventory's crept up a little bit and rates are still very low, not historically low, very low. I mean, some of the best rates of all time, just a little higher than the all-time low. You can lock in a lower payment. You can get into a house. And here's the thing a lot of people aren't talking about. There's a lot of buyers out there. They've quit. They don't want to look anymore. They're afraid to keep looking. They've lost four, five, six homes. They just don't want to do it. If I was a buyer right now, now is not the time to give up, especially with these economic indicators coming out and this news coming out from the Mortgage Bankers Association and seeing what rates are doing. So if you got a question about your own situation, specifically what you're looking to do, get in touch with a professional, figure out what's going on in your particular part of the market and where you're trying to get to, and make sure you're aware of where the economy is going because this information matters and it's going to affect the biggest financial decision of your life. Catch everyone next week. definitely going to want to watch this one.